Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. What's up y'all? I'm back from Japan now. I was out there for two whole weeks. Tried to get some vlogs in. Didn't really work out the way I planned it to. I had a great time in Japan, but it feels so good to be back. Today's video is going to be a couple unboxings here and there of some pickups that I recently got. Now, when I was in Japan, I noticed a lot of people wearing leather jackets and I was like, man, I've never had a leather jacket before. So I went ahead and bought something on eBay. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I'm super excited to see it. It's been waiting here for the past week. So let's go ahead and check it out. So like I said, I bought this on eBay. I don't know how this is gonna fit, but we're about to find out right now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Chicago Bulls. Oh, this thing smells funky. But damn, this jacket right here got some weight to it. So this right here is a vintage 90s leather Chicago Bulls jacket. Like I said, I've never had a leather jacket before. And after seeing everybody in Japan wearing a leather jacket, I was like, okay, it's my time to shine. Here we go, Chicago Bulls. Look at the details on this one. Details on the sleeves, embroidery. This is a freaking sick ass piece. First things first though, I'm gonna need to get this thing dry clean because it stinks. It could be the smell of the leather, but I highly doubt it. I think it's it's the must. It's it's the Elon must. When in doubt, Febreze it out. Stinky ass jacket. One right there. Boom. Should we do one more? Ah, one right there. One on the top for good luck. Ah. The inside tag says genuine leather on the shell. Professional leather clean only. So. Like I said, I'm gonna have to get this dry clean by somebody that knows what they're doing. If you guys are curious, the brand is by Pro Player by Daniel Young. And if you're curious on how much I got this for, I think it was 75, but then uh, with shipping, it was 90 bucks. So I think I did pretty good on this jacket, besides it smelling a little musty, but I feel like for a 20 plus year old jacket that's leather, you kind of got to expect to smell some sort of way. So I'm gonna let this Febreze sink in here take it to somebody that knows what they're doing to clean leather jackets up, make this all nice, probably condition it and all that, and then I'll throw it on for y'all. But for now, I don't even wanna throw it on because it stinks. So it's been about four days now and the jacket is finally clean. One thing I realized is that leather jacket cleaning is extremely hard to come by out here in the Bay Area. A lot of dry cleaners that I hit up so that they don't do it anymore and it's starting to become a lost craft. So I took initiative to go ahead and clean the jacket myself and here's how it came out. I think it came out absolutely beautiful and it's not musty smelling anymore. It smells like fresh laundry. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on for you guys just to show y'all how it fits. Now I usually wear XL on top, but this is a large and I was skeptical and I wasn't sure how it was going to fit, but I noticed that a lot of like older pieces, at least in terms of puffer jackets and uh, some other jackets that I bought in the past, they fit a little oversized. So here's how everything fits on me. This fits perfect in my opinion. Like I said, a lot of the older stuff I noticed fits a little oversized. I'm super happy with this pickup. And like I said, I only got this for $70 on eBay. So I feel like that is an absolute steal for such a quality piece. Genuine leather jacket, Chicago Bulls, just straight up classic. And after the wash, I can't complain with this pickup. This isn't complete yet. It's still semi-moist. So when it dries completely, I'll be able to throw on the leather conditioner to bring back that nice shine and moisturize the leather so this thing lasts a little bit longer. If you think about it though, this is a 20 plus year old piece and it looks like this. So this is some quality stuff right here. So if you guys are interested in something like this, I'll have similar listings to eBay in the description down below. Happy shopping y'all. Now let's go ahead and get into the next pickup. All right, so I went ahead and picked up a couple sneakers. I'm gonna use one of them to do another unboxing video for you guys, but let's go ahead and get into this pickup that I've been waiting for. I bought this one from a sneaker store. It's called Players Club 845 Kicks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I found them on eBay and I went ahead and DM'd them on Instagram to pick these up right here. So let's go ahead and check them out. All right, all right, let's get it. Ooh, black and gold Jordan box? What could possibly be inside? Got a size 10 here, my size. And I went ahead and picked up. Ah, 
some Bordeaux sevens, baby. So back in high school, I used to be in love with this pair. I have the 2011 pair. Even just holding this shoe right now is bringing me back to my high school days. And that's why I went ahead and picked these up. As a sneaker head, you buy a lot of shoes, you sell a lot of shoes. And there's going to be times where you're like, man, I kind of wish that I had that back in my collection. And at this very point in the market, I feel like it's a very good time to be a sneakerhead if you're trying to get shoes for the low. I'm a sucker for OG colorways. And like I said, right now is a good time to be a sneakerhead because a lot of these shoes right here, the shoes that used to be super hyped, but they're not as popular anymore, they're going for the low. So I was able to get this pair right here for only $140 in this condition. And just in case you're wondering, it does come with the original laces, which are right here. Bordeaux sevens in my size. Perfect for summer vibes. You don't really have to do too much with these. I think it's just one of those shoes that's a super subtle looking shoe besides the tongue, which is different on every single pair. I think I did pretty good on these. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, was this a steal, deal, or nah? Lastly, I'm gonna wrap it up with this little package right here. This is uh, for all my car people out there. It's nothing too crazy, but it just came in today, so I figured I'd go ahead and unbox it for you guys. If you follow my vlog channel or if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I have a Honda S2000 and I'm just slowly just adding parts here and there. Nothing too crazy, just going subtle with it. But I went ahead and bought some authentic Honda badges just to update it a little bit. I feel like the red will pop nice with the red interior that I have, so. Just little subtle things here and there. Just for the car homies, if y'all need the part number, there you go, and there you go. That's going to wrap up this quick little pickup video. We got a jacket, we got Bordeaux sevens, and we got some Honda emblems. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if y'all have any Aqua 8s, size 10, in good condition and for a good price, please shoot me a DM on Instagram. I think I gotta bring those back into my collection. And just in case you guys are in the market, I do have these designer pieces for sale. All of them are 100% authentic as always. So if you guys are interested in any of these pieces, please go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram at sneakerhead in the bay. Hope y'all enjoyed this quick little pickup video and I'll see y'all very soon for the next one. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the bay. Have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace. Shoo.